Good morning guys, it's day number one of weather vlogging. Today, it's all about hurricanes. What's it going to be about? Well, let's find out. For the intros! Whoa! Whoa! Oh my! Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh! This is Sky Forge on! And it's pouring it down a blue nail! Oh my god! Uh. Hello there, this is Stormboy13. Well, this is episode one of Weather for Logging. Yes, today I thought I'll quickly discuss about hurricanes. Now, as you know, this time of year, around roughly late August and early September, is at its uh, most uh, strongest time of year for hurricanes to form. Major hurricanes are actually quite rare. We may, on average, probably may see one possibly two rough hurricanes a year we usually get about four or five hurricanes a year and well actually sorry we get that's in the uk we don't get them but i mean generally um particularly the um pacific ocean gets quite a few um actually the atlantic ocean can get quite a few hurricanes but as you know roughly in like america and you know um south america roughly where the atlantic pacific ocean is they can get about seven eight uh, tropical storms a year four or five hurricanes a year, one or two major hurricanes a year. But thankfully, because of global warming, there's a quite a likelihood prediction that um, hurricanes are likely to become fewer, but they could, one or two, could potentially become even stronger. Don't know. That was just a theory. Well, the weather for today, well, even though it's not warm enough to have a hurricane in our area, and thankfully we don't have, we don't have any in this United Kingdom, although maybe, like, tropical um, autumn storms. I'll mention that in a sec, but the weather for today uh, in the East Midlands, in our area in Leicestershire, 21 degrees Celsius and it feels quite warm and humid today. Not particularly uh, wet humid, it's not likely to have any storms over us today, but it's generally a lot of clouds. There's a few warm sunny spells, 21 degrees Celsius today. For Fahrenheit, for other viewers around the world, that's 70 degrees Fahrenheit. So low 70s, very nice for UK summer weather. Particularly for UK, um, um, who knows about the um, the great storm of 1987? Because I'm not sure if Americans, Australians, or any other guys across the globe may know about this news as much as we do in this country. But in the great storm of 1987, I don't remember the date oddly enough, but I do know the month of October. Um, October 1987. Um, oh, I forgot his name. That is a big low for me. I know a lot about weather, and all I forget is that main weather forecaster's name who got the weather forecast wrong. Please don't dislike me for this. But what I do know is, even though I wasn't born, I was born in 1997, 10 years later, um, what happened when um, he predicted, he, at this time back in the late 80s, they only did like a one or two day weather forecast. Like from today, we have like a six to ten long range outlook at the most days, with plenty of five day weather forecasts, pretty much nearly every day of BBC weather particularly. But what happened was, he um, said, um, well, a woman texted me, well, or called me, whatever said, that said it's going to be a major hurricane or a big storm on the way. Don't worry, there isn't. Although having said that, we could see quite a um, heavy rainfall sweeping across the south of England, some particularly strong winds. Yes, he predicted it was just going to be a, north, north, a normal, normal um, autumnal storm in the UK. Unfortunately, one of the biggest weather controversies ever, at least for the UK that is, that he think, said there was no storms on the way, despite someone predicting that there was going to be a hurricane on the way. Next day, big damage across the UK. How typical is that? And I still can't remember his name. Please don't hate me on this. It's my f it's early days of weather vlogging. It's not as windy as Saturday, if you want to see my latest video. But the wind's starting to pick up a little bit. 
but it's quite a warm winter again and to be honest it's not been terribly cold this summer I'll mention that in another weather flogging thing which I'll mention maybe next week the breeze is picking up but it feels really warm though very humid today humidity could be about 70 80 percent I don't know it's any degree weather that's still pretty warm though time that well yeah, not in the mood to post another wind video for one week. Anyways, another thing I've also got to tell you about the basic facts of how hurricanes form. Well, I'm going to put 40 facts, um, which you'll see in a minute. But the most basic thing for hurricanes to form is it has to form in like tropical parts of the oceans where it's the warmest part of the time of the year where it's at its most extreme. August, September, probably October as well, where temperatures have to be at least 26 degrees Celsius, high 70s Fahrenheit. So that's 77, 78 degrees Fahrenheit there. But generally it has to be above the mid-20s mark to form some quite big storms for hurricanes to form. You know, like they have certain times of the year, particularly from June to November or December probably. I think it's I think that's why Atlantic Pacific Ocean, they have these hurricanes there. And then they have cyclones uh, past, across parts of Asia from January to March. I'm not particularly certain on this, oddly enough, but I do know the other time of the year, cyclones and typhoons form across parts of the eastern parts of the ocean, particularly around in Asia, uh, probably near parts of Austra Australasia as well. So that's how I know for hurricanes to form. The other thing I do know is if it's less than 38 miles per hour, it is a tropical depression. More than 38 miles per hour, but less than 74 miles per hour, it is a tropical storm. And more than 74 miles per hour, boom, it's a hurricane. Now, follow me where I've got some 40 facts to tell you about hurricanes. This should be fun. Let's head back. Looks very dark. Well, it's not that dark. I'm just being over dramatic. Yeah, it looks fairly dark over there. Not likely to shower or probably even storm though. Well, well, I'm back from my walk. Right, before I close the video, I'm going to show you a quick video, well not video, but another clip of 40 facts of hurricanes. So let's get started. The term hurricane is derived from tinio, a Native American word which means evil spirit of the wind. The first hurricane that caused people to fly in it occurred in 1943 during the Second World War. A tropical storm is a hurricane which travels for 74 miles per hour or higher than that. Hurricanes are weather disasters, each of them each having its own name. Hurricanes are obviously first formed in warm moisture atmosphere by swirling above tropical ocean water. The eye wall experiences the most terrible hurricanes with extremely heavy rains. This place is the ring of clouds and thunderstorms occur around the eye. A huge hurricane can release energy equivalent to 10 atomic bombs per second. Do not want to be in that, in that storm. <laughs> hurricanes also can produce mild tornadoes which usually last for a couple of minutes. Hurricanes that move slowly are obviously likely to produce more rains, causing more damage by flooding than fast moving hurricanes. Hurricane Floyd has destroyed 19 million trees and has caused damage of more than a million dollars. Gosh, a lot of acres destroyed in just one hurricane. Many people die in hurricanes because of rising seawater walls that enter the mainland, killing loads of people. Hurricanes in the Pacific Ocean are known as typhoons, or maybe even cyclones, then again Adam might be wrong. In the Indian Ocean they are typically known as tropical cyclones, there you go. The first person to give names to hurricanes was a weather forecaster from Australia named C. Wang in 1900. I don't know his actual name. The Safari Simpson Hurricane Scale divides hurricane strength by categories. A category 1 storm's weakest hurricane, winds having speeds between 74 to 95 miles per hour, and a category 5 hurricane's strongest winds with winds more than 155 miles per hour. Hurricanes obviously mostly occur from June to November when seas are warm is performing conductive weather for the hurricanes to build up. Planet Jupiter has a hurricane which appears as a red dot and it's spinning since 300 years. This hurricane is bigger than the Earth itself. Wow. Hurricanes are large enough to carry winds which travels up to 160 miles per hour. Hurricanes can have a diameter of 600-800 kilometers. The center of the hurricane, which is the eye, can be as huge as 32 kilometers. The weather in the center of the eye is usually calm with low winds. 90% of the deaths that occur during hurricanes is because of floods created by this disaster, not the actual winds. 
Hokane Okuda Bangdalash in 1970 took away the life of one million people. This hurricane is supposedly the worst tornado in terms of loss of life. The winds in the hurricane can cost above 2 million trillion gallons of rains per day. Wow. Or we should say rains, not winds. I don't know. In the Atlantic Ocean, hurricanes begin from 1st of June and the Pacific, they start in mid-May. Both end together towards the end of November. Mostly. Hurricanes upon entering land bring in strong winds, heavy rains and waves which are strong enough to cause damages like washing away the entire city scrape. These are known as storm surge. Florida has hit at least 40% of the hurricanes that occur in America. To be honest, I'm not too surprised really. Hurricanes are devastated from tropical storms by the wind speeds. Tropical storms can carry winds which travel 35 to 50 miles per hour, that's nothing too severe. Hurricanes' wind speeds are double and travel at least 74 miles per hour. Hurricanes are categorized into five types depending upon the wind speed and capacity to cause damage. The wind speed of five categories was as follows. Category 1, 74 to 95. Category 2, 96 to 110. Category 3, 111 to 130. Category 4, 103 to 155. Most dangerous of Category 5, above 155. The Natural Hurricane Center was the first organization to give female names to the hurricanes in 1953. However, they stopped this practice in 1978. I think you do both of these gender names now. Huge and destruction hurricanes have retired names like Katrina, Mitch, and Andrew. Hurricane Katrina is one of the costliest Category 5 type hurricanes which has cost damage over $100 billion. The deadliest hurricane is the Category 4 hurricane that occurred in Texas and Galveston in the year 1990. 8,000 people were found dead by the 15 foot waves, which caused winds traveling 130 miles per hour. It is believed the hurricanes have killed approximately 1.9 million people over the past 200 years. Most of the Category 5 hurricanes occurred in the years 2000 2009 with Bates. This include Isabel 2003, Eden 2004, Emily 2005, Katrina 2005, Rita 2005, Wilma 2005, Dean 2007, and Philex 2007. Stronger hurricanes can reach 40,000 to 50,000 feet up into the sky. Hurricanes need carriers force to form, which is very weak at the equator, and this is the reason they cannot form near the equator. The southern hemisphere typically experiences about half the number of hurricanes as normal hemisphere every year. The year 2005 saw the most hurricanes ever to form in a single Atlantic Ocean with 15. A typical hurricane needs a light to upper level winds, warm water at least 80, 80 degrees Fahrenheit and Celsius, pre existing, pre existing conditions with thunderstorms to form. And finally, hurricanes can kill more people than any other type of storm. As we know, hurricanes are natural disasters and unfortunately can't be controlled by man. However, we can prepare ourselves with future precautions to safeguard ourselves against calamities, although this is remotely possible. There's all 40 facts of hurricanes. So, there you go. This is it. Episode 1 complete of weather flogging. I've only got 31 more to go. <laughs> but it, you know what? That's a good start. Tomorrow's weather flogging. I may be around in Nottingham. Which is going to be drought or floods. Click on this link to take you to the next video. Like, comment and subscribe. And the question of the vlog is... Of this year, what hurricane name began with the letter A? Comment below and you'll find out on Sunday. Like, comment, subscribe. The storm's now out.